So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at the NorLogic gate uh, using an integrated circuit with four NorLogic gates in it. The uh, ones that uh, you see wired up here, these are the two inputs. We're just giving it a voltage to help stabilize what's going on inside the integrated circuit. The output you can just leave floating. We are powering it uh, right there with the uh, positive supply to pin 14 and the negative supply to pin 7. So in any case, we have uh, two inputs here. They're both low, so we got ground there, ground there. This being a NOR logic gate, that means that uh, they're both low, the output's high. And uh, it's the opposite of an OR logic gate. It's a NOT OR logic gate for the most part. So, in any case, we're going to turn the trim pot towards the more positive supply once we get a high enough uh, voltage here. It's just signal voltage, uh, remember? Then we have a low output, so you can see blue there. So when the red LED is lit, it's outputting the uh, positive supply there. That's considered high, heads its way to ground. Now we got the blue LED. So you can tell that uh, the output's connected to ground because if we follow the current path, it goes that way right there. Um, so in any case, uh, we got one of the inputs high, so the output is low. We could make it so that the other, now it's floating, it's picking up stray signals. The voltage is rapidly changing. So they were both uh, lighting up periodically. So in any case, there we go. Now we got a high input there, positive supply to that input, a low output. We can also make it so they're both high. Doesn't matter. Uh, we got a low output in that case as well. I just reused an old diagram there because we really don't have anything to add to it. But uh, the integrated circuit that we're uh, using here, uh, first off, it's the 7402. That means there's the quad, the four NOR gates. And uh, the HC means it's the high speed CMOS version, which determines a lot of the electrical properties. Uh, but the 7402 is indicating that there's uh, four NOR gates in there. And there's the uh, symbol there. So you got the curve uh, back there, and it kind of curves up to the front there before it comes back. That's an OR gate, but then when you put a little dot at the end, that inverts the output, making it a NOR gate. Hopefully that makes sense. We're only using one out of four of them. But in any case, there you can see our two inputs. I had a trim pot going to uh, 1B down there, and a jumper that are just going back and forth. You could also use a switch. That is a single pull, double throw switch you could use. Uh, in any case, that's going to A right there, and our output Y was the top, as we could see there. Uh, we just got it going to different uh, power rails. So, uh, for the blue LED, you can see positive supply there. That will only light up if the output is connected to ground, as good as it can do. And then uh, when the output's high, 5, that gives you that current path for the red LED. And moving on down, you can probably see a little better there that our outputs for this integrated circuit are uh, limited to 25 milliamps of current, either sinking or sourcing. That's what that plus minus means. The integrated circuit probably has a uh, maximum of uh, 50 milliamps of current, though. Um, most likely, that's typical with these. Again, I always check the data sheet to make sure. But in uh, any case, we got the true table there. And as we saw, both inputs low, the outputs high. So again, that's the opposite of the OR gate. That's what a NOR gate is. It's the opposite. It's not OR or inverted OR. And then we got uh, if one or both, doesn't matter in this case, uh, but as long as at least one input is high, then the output is low. Again, the opposite of the OR gate. We're using uh, 5 volts to power the circuitry, so close to 5 volts is considered high, or 1 if you're using that kind of system. And then uh, when it comes to 0 or uh, low, it's uh, close to 0 volts in this circuit. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.